Hey everybody, it's Robert, and uh, this video is pretty much for Pestle Man. I just watched that video that you made of uh, all those different points and the uh, the fella, the new guy that's flint napping, and I've been trying to do a lot of that of late. Most of it is with quartz, and I just wanted to show you that one point that you were showing that had those kind of feet. This isn't exactly like that one, but I got these from a, a well-known tuber. This one he actually gave to me. It's broke. Sorry, I got Lucy down here scratching. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say that it's a Hardaway Dalton. It's got some really cool flaking. This right here is absolutely amazing. When I saw yours, I was just blown away at how nice they were. But Hardaway is something that I don't have. And um, they're just, they are something else. I've, I've tried to pick up a couple, but... I'm always afraid that they're not going to be real. I like to get them for study, so yeah, it's just crazy how thin these really are, and the and the nice fluting that they the thinning flakes they run on the bottom. That's really really a nice one. And here's another one from his collection. He's let me borrow these until I what he says until I'm done using them to send back. So I've looked over this one so much that. <laughs> I basically know it. I know every flake, but this one has some really cool Mickey Mouse ears on it, and uh, a couple real nice thinning flakes right there. And this one, I want to say, with probably with Hardaway's as a whole, made on flakes, and you can see that it was a big flake, and it's got that fine secondary on that side, which is good stuff. And with that, I've been trying to make my own, so. Uh, this is the first one. There's a there's a fella. This piece of quartz I actually found, but there's a fella that lives close by to us, and um, he's been hunting for years and years and years, and he's got a lot of rock that he's letting me use. He doesn't want. And he's not into napping any longer. But but back to this one. It's got I got a a pretty nice thinning flake down the middle there. I guess you can see it, and then. Um, the secondary flaking on the side is pretty, and it's vein quartz, so I don't have to hold it up to light. You can see right through it. But yep, so that one. And then the other day I had a really big piece. So probably the best piece of quartz I've had to make anything out of yet. So I made this one. And um, this side I got a pretty good... I guess you can see the little ripples in the rock right there where I got a good thinning flake to run up through there. This side didn't didn't run up as much. And it's a bit thicker than... Those hardaways are so thin. But yeah. And then I seen you had that one look like an eared yadkin. I made this one not long ago. This one for quartz turned out to be pretty thin. And um... I wasn't attempting it, but if I get a chance to try to run a, a good thinning flake, I will. And I was hoping to take that whole section off, but it just didn't work out. But still a nice razor sharp, that stuff. I know quartz had to be miserable to try to keep yourself alive with, but it, it hold an edge forever. Look at this little bitty one. I wasn't really trying to make anything. I was just trying to make some wicked looking point with some tiny little ears and kind of looks like a San Patrice I guess and the base is not thin on this one it's thick I tried but this one I'm actually going to send back to the guy that um, that's giving me all this quartz not the guy that I'm borrowing these from I've given him a rock or two and and if I can make a decent one a decent heart away. I'd like to send him one for letting me use these. You can see the tan through this one. This is nice. But yeah. And it turned out pretty thin. That came out of the same group of rock as those two. Uh, and then I think I've shown this one before. In the beginning it kind of looked more like a beaver lake. But it's got a piece of... I don't know, iron or something in there that's rusting out. 
I'm going to get one of those little scribe pens so I can put my name on these. Some of them don't look too authentic, but some of them I really do try to make them look authentic and I don't ever want them passed over. And then some other rock that he gave me is this stuff. And being from this area, Pestle Man, Court's Crazy, all you guys, you may have seen some of this. On the inside, it's it's this smoky quartz. I don't know where he gets the stuff from, but you got to bust it down. And it's not like flint where you just take the cortex off and it's this giant core on the inside. It's layers. So inside here, there will be more of this kind of stuff. So here's a piece that I've kind of started to break down. And you can see it's it looks good right here, but you can tell that it's kind of layered in there. So it's really hard to, to get something out of. But you can see how pretty that stuff is. And see these nasty cracks that run through here? Yeah, they they make it almost impossible. Here's another one. It's got some red in it. But you can kind of see it's got these little layers. So I did get a little piece busted down, though. Not that I was trying to make anything. I was basically just trying to get a shape. And um, this is the, the piece. It, it came out pretty thin. Um, and then it's it's got this, you know, that whitish sort of stuff that's in there. you got to try to get that pushed out of there. But then that stuff's crazy translucent. It's really pretty smoky, smoky colored. I guess if I could get a pretty thick piece of that, I could make something really neat. But yeah, seeing that video and seeing those hardaways you had, golly, I was falling over. Those Hardaways you have are just amazing. Such a cool point. We all know I like Daltons, uh, but Daltons for my area are pretty rare and far and few between. They're more Hardaway Daltons. So for my area, this is probably my favorite, favorite point. This and maybe Yadkins. So I'm just honored for somebody to let me borrow these. Uh, that one actually came from Moore County, North Carolina. But yep, sorry for such a long video on a bunch of flint napping stuff, but when I saw that, Pestle Man, I just wanted to show off some of my stuff. And never be ashamed to put your Clovis on here. I can tell you, I love to look at that thing. But either way, as always, y'all, I, I have been keeping up with videos. I just don't comment quite as often anymore because it's, it's my cell phone app that I use and it's a bit aggravating. Uh... So yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks again for putting that on, Pestle Man. It was really good to see the thinning and uh, uh, those hardaways. I watched that section two or three times. So yep, thanks y'all.